we are rolling. I'm Gerald Hausman, and I've written a number of books about Native culture. And uh, so I want to share with you The Sun Horse, which is one of my favorites. It took some years to write it because actually it was spoken and, and I wrote it down. Um, but anyway, here, here's, here's an, an offering on that book. Um, it goes like this. And keep in mind, th these are stories from the Navajo culture and uh, they were finally approved, deeply approved actually, by my Navajo college roommate. <laughs> uh, this is the first, one of the first and most significant poems in the book. I walk in plain sight of my home. I am at the entrance of my home. I am in the middle of my home. I am at the back of my home. I am on the top of a pollen footprint. Before me is beautiful. Behind me is beautiful. Below me is beautiful. Above me is beautiful. All around me is beautiful. And the way the story got to me was that my old roommate, Jay DeGroat, whose father was a medicine man, declared that he had a story that he wanted to share with me. And I said, fine. I said, I have students that would love to hear it. So this is what he, he wrote and sent to me. When you see a golden horse come out of the sun, you will see that it has hooves of flint, butterflies. When I saw this, I said a prayer because a prayer had just come true to me. When the horse galloped through me, I thought it would crush my bones to dust, for that is the legend. But the horse of the sun did not hurt me. It went through me and I knew it was the horse of heaven protecting me for the rest of my life. And the lesson for all of us in that poem is do not be afraid. So I'll share with you just briefly some of the pictorials in here done by Mina Yamashita, uh, a very distinguished artist she did beautiful, beautiful black and white paintings. Essentially, they were paintings. And, uh, and then I, I selected these from my friend Jay DeGroat. And uh, it's a lovely book. And I'm, I'm proud that um, Santosh Krinsky liked it and Lotus Light published it. 